If you guys are looking for some piss cheap coins, head on over to golden.com and use DRG for a discount. Or if you're looking to buy some cheap MSP or PSN codes, head on over to G2A.com. Welcome to the Derek Rand Show. And here is your host, Derek Rand. Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. That's enough. And welcome everybody to the Derek Rant Show. It's a brand new web series where I help you, the viewers, with any life problems you may have. So today, we are going to take on a few of your struggles and I am going to make you feel a lot better about yourselves. Sit back, relax and enjoy the Derek Rant Show. Okay, so let's jump straight in to today's first issue. And this one comes from Tom from Manchester. Thanks so much for writing in Tom and we'll see what we can do for you. So his, his problem is, I'm in the middle of choosing between three girls right now. What advice would you give for someone like me? Now there's no age attached and in, you know, when it comes to relationships, age is a big thing. It depends and it, it makes it a little bit harder for me to answer the question but I shall do it to the best of my ability. So Tom, you're stuck between three girls. Rule number one, you have to take a look at who is the fittest. You know, you don't want some ugly bitch on your arm. You want somebody that's going to turn heads and, uh, you know, some beauty. Now, again, you don't want the hottest one because she could run off with somebody that's better looking than you, Tom. I don't know whether you're a minger or an absolute bloody beauty. Again, doesn't help me answer your question, but... Go for the mediocre one that, you know, she's decent, she'll turn heads, but nobody's really asked whether they're going out with her or not. Now, you can take another approach. If you're 18 or more, Tom, you can go for the one, you know, she might not be the best looking, but she puts out. Nobody wants that bitch that doesn't go anywhere, you know, you, you're kissing, smooching, you get wandering hands and then bang, she slaps your hand. You don't want a girl like that. You want somebody that's a bit gamey, a bit keen, and up for a bit of fun. So Tom, I hope that's helped you uh, with your problem today. As I say, if you're a youngish lad, you know, below 18, you're not really looking to be messing around and stuff like that, go for the mediocre one. Not too pretty, not too ugly. If you're over 18 and you know you're getting a bit adventurous, go for the, go for the girl that's up for a bit of bloody fun. Thanks so much for your question, Tom. And uh, maybe we'll hear from you again soon with an update. Up next, we have got a serious question, and I'm going to be I'm going to be as serious as I can. This one comes from Kevin. He says, "Derek, I'm in a bit of shit." In between, he says, "I'm going to be serious. I just simply don't know what to do anymore. It's been lingering over me for months. I applied for the army, thinking, yeah, this is going to be great, but now two months later, I'm regretting it, and I'm having serious doubts. I want to get a job that I feel." more happy doing I don't want to let my family down though help me please look Kevin being I'm gonna be deadly serious that there's only one person that really matters about being happy and that's you if you go to the army and you don't want to be doing it does it really matter whether your parents are happy or not parents are there to be understanding so if you can go to your parents and explain look the army's not for me at the time I thought it was I don't want to do it I don't feel comfortable doing it. I'd rather go out and get a job I feel a lot more comfortable with. Well then, you know, they've got to understand that. And if they don't, then really, you know, that's, that's their problem, not yours. You've got to do what makes you happy. Don't listen to other people. Don't be feel pressurized into doing things you don't want to do because in the long run, the only person that's going to suffer is you. So my advice would be, Go with what you want to do. Don't feel pressurised in anything. Do what makes you happy. I hope that's helped, Kevin. And again, let's hear an update from you soon. Let's move on to the next problem. Up next is a problem from ZRB. Now, this one is a bit graphic and it sounds quite serious. So he says, so I was dared to put my sausage in my toaster. So me being as stupid as I am, I put it in there. But then my friend said, nah, that's boring put your willy in there. I'm going to be honest, I thought when he said sausage, I actually thought he meant his penis. But no, he meant just a normal sausage. Let's get back to it. Uh, so I whipped out my hard throbbing cock, 
First of all, why was your cock hard from putting a sausage in a toaster? That's problem number one. And put it in there and now it's stuck. Help. Right. Why were you aroused before putting your penis in a toaster? That's my first worry. Second of all, you must still be aroused for your willy not to come out. Otherwise it should just fall off. Now, if you need some help getting that toaster off your penis, ZRB, I would advise unplugging the toaster. That's a really important bit. Unplug it. If you're watching this now, unplug it now. Is it unplugged? Right, okay. Now, go to your fridge and get out butter. And I mean, get a good bloody scoop of that and just start rubbing it everywhere. Melt it in your hands, drop it in the toaster. Trust me, it'll work. If it doesn't, Ring the hospital, because uh, I don't think it's healthy to have your penis in a toaster. Unplug it, use butter, if that doesn't work, ring the hospital. Thanks so much for your questions NRB, we're going to take one more and see, can we help another person? So today's final question or problem comes from Chrissy Hughes, it's a problem we all suffer with. Girls on Facebook and Instagram posting shy. So, what's he talking about? He says, women complain that they are too fat or ugly, but yet they still upload photos with hardly any clothes on. You see, Chrissy, these women are clearly just looking for attention. They know they're not fat, they know they're not ugly, but yet they still post these pictures. Because they want all people, they want all the girlfriends saying, Oh girl, you look bad! Fuck that shit! They want all the males coming on saying, don't be stupid love, you look bloody fit. Nah. What you do, Chrissy, next time you see that bullshit, you log on to your Instagram, onto your Facebook, click into comments and say, you're dead right. You're dead right, love. You look fat as fuck in that bikini. I'd advise putting some clothes on. It doesn't do you any favours whatsoever. I'd rather watch a fucking whale lie on the beach rubbing its fanny. Do whales have fannies? Can they rub them? I don't know, but you know, it's gonna upset her. And maybe from then on she might say, oh shite, maybe I'm not as beautiful, maybe I really am fat and ugly, and we won't have to see these annoying pictures day in, day out. There you go. I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode of The Derek Rant Show. I hope I've solved some of your guys' problems, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys Again, if you want your questions answered or your problems answered on the Derek Rant Show, all you've got to do is email the show down below with your problems. I will read through them and I will answer any that I think I can help. Let's be honest, boys. I can answer absolutely anything to help you guys out. So the email address is down in the description below on the top line. Send your emails and you can feature in the next Derek Rant Show. Thanks for everything. Take care of yourselves and each other. That's fucking my life, Jerry Spring, not yours, asshole. See you later, boys. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. You're too kind. Too bloody kind.